We are on the road to Paris this morning, counting down to the opening ceremony of the 2024 Summer Olympic Games. And one woman securing her ticket to Paris in a position that requires one of the hardest skills of all, communication. Our co-anchor Megan Mitchell has her journey to steer Team USA to victory across the pond. Megan. Yes, hey guys. So Nina Castagna thinks of herself as the conductor of an orchestra when she's out on the water. But what she could not have conducted was just how far she was going to go in a sport she knew nothing about until she tried it out in high school. A lifelong dream realized. Oh my gosh, when I was a kid and I was asked what I wanted to be, I, I wanted to be an Olympian, but I thought I wanted to be a swimmer. Instead of in the water, Nina Castagna soars above the water. I went to my first practice to start rowing and they took a look at me, I was 4'10", like this tiny kid, and they were like, you're, you're gonna be a coxswain. Her position is like an extension of the coach. She's in charge of the boat, facing the eight rowers, strategically orchestrating each of them to control the boat's steering, speed, timing, and fluidity. She uses me as an example. When I see the boat's change in speed, whether it's on my device or how the boat's moving through the water, then I can tell everyone else how how much of a change you just made. Oh, Megan just bent it a little more. We just dropped two splits. We're moving faster. Let's see if we can go with Megan now. She says it's all about trust and her teammates and coaches trusted her enough to be their boat leader for the 2024 Paris Olympics. So the fact that I'm here now feels pretty surreal that it's actually happening. That's it's pretty crazy. Next steps. She's going to be growing that trust with her teammates during the next few months of practice. And then we'll go back to Urba, Italy for another camp um, prior to Paris, where we will race the Olympics. Whew, it feels weird to say. Nina says that her mom and her dad have given up so much to support her in this dream. So she is going to Paris. She will be competing on the biggest stage. And she just says that it is a testament to them as well. Of course, what do they say? It takes a village, right? Yeah, and all of them rowing in front of her, listening. It, and that is exactly it, is you think about how much strategy goes into right. making people go faster. She says, listen, in high school, the strategy of a coxswain is like, do it, you're going to be great. <laughs> when you get to the big leagues, it is literally like the littlest movement of yeah. an arm, saying, hey, you know, this really works. Let's all try to pick it up. Totally strategic. I was just saying to you, she's so calm and that's what you need. She has to be. And they all have to trust her. Right. Trust is a very big thing. Well, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Megan, so cool. Yeah. Thanks for introducing us to her. And that gives us someone to root for, which I mean, I know. always makes things more Walnut fun. Hills grad. I, so cool. So remember, WLWT News 5 is the one and only channel for everything Olympics. The opening ceremony, Friday, July 26. We will have a crew there bringing you the latest as the competition kicks off. Stick with us here on WLWT. Coming up on 646, speculation continues about the future of one of the